Hello everyone and welcome to your GCC Geography Information PowerPoint. My name is Mr Hillier and I am one of the GCC and A-level Geography teachers. Um, in the department as well there is also Mr Wilkinson who is the Head of Geography who teaches GCC and A-level. We also have Mrs Tristan who teaches GCC and A-level as well and we finally have Mrs Priest who also teaches GCC and A-level. If you do have any further questions after this information PowerPoint then please make sure that you contact either your Geography teacher or someone else in the geography department and we are more than happily answering your questions. So what do we exactly do in GCC geography? Before I go into a little bit of detail as to what we do, I just want to start off by saying that everyone is welcome to study geography, whether you are a profile one to a profile nine. We are an inclusive subject when it comes to any student who has an aspiration to learn and an aspiration to understand the wider world that we live in. If you're not too sure about what geography includes, geography includes everything that you can think of. It has so many links to other um, curriculums. It also has many links to wider world and other um, extracurricular activities. If we consider modern foreign languages, we look at culture as well as modern foreign languages do. When we consider English, we also, um, one of the biggest in, uh, skills in English is about debating and about arguments. It, we, us, ourselves in geography are basing a lot of our information and a lot of our questioning on debates and arguments. When we consider biology, we look at ecosystems. When we consider maths, we look at statistics. When we consider information technology, we look at social media, we look at technology systems. When we think of history, we think of how countries have grown throughout the years. We have links to every subject. So if you are one of those people who feel as if geography is a subject for you, you will find a link with other subjects that you study. When we think about the units that we look at, we look at a half and half basis, where we look at half physical and half human. Physical topics, they include the natural hazards, where we look at volcanoes and earthquakes, tropical storms and climate change. With climate change being such a, a talked about subject, it's essential that we understand how we can help combat climate change and what we can do as a society. We also focus on living world, focusing on ecosystems, in particular rainforests and deserts, with the um, fear of deforestation and desertification affecting so many people, it's important for us to understand how we can stop that. We also focus on rivers and coasts, with the UK being a prime example of an area which has been shaped by erosion, been shaped by the ever-changing landscapes of coasts and rivers. In terms of our human topics, we focus on urban challenges, where we look at cities around the world with a bigger focus on Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and London in England, where we're looking to see what has happened to these cities and how they're trying to improve. We also focus on development, trying to focus on how countries have moved through time, again, linking to history and looking to see how Nigeria and the UK, as two examples, have moved on through time. And then finally, we look at resource management, with resource management focusing mainly on energy, but food and water come into it as well, with again, fossil fuels, sustainable energy, a big talking point in the modern day world. As part of your um, course as well in GCC Geography, we have a coursework element, which comes into the skills paper at the end of the year. The coursework element is based on physical and human topics, and we must conduct a physical investigation and a human investigation. It also, in GCC Geography, gives you the opportunity to go on national and international trips linked in with this GCC specification. For example, our last international trip was to Italy in 2019, where we did a nice collaboration with History and EPM, where we went to Pompeii and Vesuvius and Naples to see how geography, history and EPM are intertwined with that area. In terms of other um, opportunities that you have got, we have got plenty of other ways where we can focus GC Geography with the wider world. We are hoping to start off in a series of clubs after school to focus on geography as to what else we can study outside of the classroom. At the end of the year, uh, the course of year 11, you will be assessed on three exams. An hour and a half paper for physical, which is covering all three topics and will take an hour and a half. A, an hour and a half paper for human, which is looking at the three human topics, again 35%. And finally, your skills paper, focusing on the coursework and as well other geography skills, which is an hour long and will be worth 30%. 
Here, guys, we can see that this is uh, pictures to represent the different uh, units that we look at. Now, we've changed natural hazards and living world and physical landscapes in the UK. They are your physical units where we focus on the volcanoes and earthquakes, other hazards, li living ecosystems and rivers and coasts. Whereas the human topics, urban issues and challenges, changing economic world and challenges of resource management, focusing on the ever changing world and how development plays a role in that. And then finally, we also um, take part in coursework at the end of year 10 and also have the opportunity for national and international trips. Finally, what does geography mean in terms of the wider world and in terms of future aspirations? Well, it is safe to say that geography is linked with many career choices and many opportunities for all, whether that's with media, business, travel, society, technology, retail, lawyer, uh, finance, you name it, there will be a career path that is best suited with geography at the helm. Even if you're not too sure about what you want to do in the future, geography gives you various skills and various insights into the world and it will help you construct an all-rounded person ready for a college course, ready for an apprenticeship, ready for a sixth form and be further beyond into further education. But whatever you decide to do in the future, geography will have an important part in that. It will give you the tools and it will give you the skills that will allow you to be successful in any career path you choose. So guys, thank you very much for listening and thank you very much for uh, any future questions that you may have. Like I said at the start of the presentation, please make sure you uh, email us, ask for any questions you may have, whether it's Mr. Wilkerson, the Head of Geography, myself, Mr. Hillier, Mrs. Tristram or Mrs. Priest. I hope um, I've given you some information about the GCC course, but most importantly, guys, please make sure you stay safe and keep well out there in these unprecedented times. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon.